Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make Korean meatloaf with Korean barbecue glaze. This right here is Korean American fusion at its finest. This meatloaf is so good, you'll be wondering where it's been all of your life. It's really simple to make and requires common ingredients that you should be able to find in the Asian section of your supermarket. It starts with a pound of lean ground beef. Today I'm using a 93-7 mixture. And then we'll add in a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Now it's all been pretty normal so far, but here's where we're gonna add our Asian twist, starting with one tablespoon of gochujang. If you can't find gochujang, you can always substitute with another Asian hot sauce like sriracha. You can also leave this out if you don't want heat or spice to this. Then you'll also need a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of sesame seeds, six cloves of crushed garlic, a teaspoon of sesame oil, a teaspoon of ground ginger, and one egg to bind it all together. Next, it's time to mix this all together, and the best way to do that is with your hands. Just get in there and mix it all together. I suppose you could use a spoon, but really the best way to do this is with your hands so you can break up all the meat and get all of the ingredients and tastiness mixed in well. You don't want to knead it too long, but it should quickly come together and hold its shape. Then we'll freeform shape this loaf and place it into a lightly greased 9 by 13 pan. Now the reason I'm using a 9 by 13 pan for this instead of something like a bread pan, which would be a little more traditional, is so that the grease can release from the meat and it doesn't just sit there and soak in it and have a soggy bottom to your meatloaf. I hate that. Next, we'll bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. This recipe can easily be doubled or tripled, but the cooking time remains the same. While the meatloaf is cooking, we're gonna make our Korean barbecue glaze over on the stove. Heat a tablespoon of sesame oil in a small saucepan over medium-high heat. And then pour in two tablespoons of cornstarch and whisk this together. The cornstarch acts as a thickening agent, but you can't just add it straight to a barbecue sauce or it'll be all clumpy. You need to dissolve it in an oil or fat so it can cling to the fat and disperse throughout the sauce as it cooks. Then we'll add in half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of rice vinegar, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, another six cloves of crushed garlic, a teaspoon of ground ginger, and a teaspoon of sesame seeds, and whisk this all together. Bring this to a simmer and let it continue cooking until the sauce thickens. Halfway through the cooking time on the meatloaf, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and pour half of our sauce over the loaf. Just pour about half of the sauce on, and then pop this back in the oven and let it continue cooking. After the meatloaf has baked for 45 minutes, pull it out again and brush on the remaining sauce. Pop it back into the oven and increase the oven's temperature to 450 degrees and let that glaze bubble up and caramelize for another 15 minutes. Serve it up hot and garnish with some green onions for a splash of color. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.